Peace, brothers and sisters. This is Mosiah coming to you uh, with a really good video. Um, I put this video together because pretty much right now, 70% uh, of the lower 48 states are covered in snow. So everybody's under some sort of uh, winter emergency. Texas, our, our prayers, you're definitely in our prayers. All of the 48 uh, states are in our prayers. All the states in the north from New York to Illinois to Washington State to Nevada, some parts of even California. Uh, to uh, even the middle states, Kansas, Tennessee, North Dakota, Colorado. Uh, you guys are all in our prayers. Um, I put this video together because uh, I want you guys to see how you can develop some emergency power to get your cell phones, your laptops, all the things that you need, uh, maybe even small refrigerators, some lights. Uh, if you need lights and you don't have lights, if you need a refrigerator, you can use this particular setup. I put this together uh, simply using a car battery with a power inverter uh, and a battery charger. So take a look at this video. Uh, again, you're all in our prayers. We wish you well. Um, if you uh, take a look at this video, you'll see that it, it may become very, very instrumental and very come in very handy for you at this particular time. So we're praying for you guys. Take a look. Containing our own. So this is what I would call sovereign power. All right. It's simply a three step solution to providing infinite power whenever you need it. What we're going to do is we're going to take your typical battery, car battery, brand new. Okay. Got it from uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Uh, spent about a buck fifty for it because I want it to last. I want it to last for a while. And then I also have a Nico Genesis Genius 5 battery charger plus maintainer. Okay, now this is the ingenious piece right there. And then we have the Ampeak 2000 watt uh, power inverter. So the, the inverter uh, obviously gets connected to your battery terminal. So we have that in place. And then we'll show you afterwards when we connect the NOCO Genius 5 battery charger and maintainer to make sure that the battery maintains its charge infinitely because it will also be plugged into the inverter providing the charging power that the actual invert, uh, excuse me, charger needs to charge the battery. So three step process. We've got the battery, the inverter, where we're going to get our 110, got the USB port on the front of it and three 110 outlets, 310 volt outlets and the Nico battery charger and maintainer. All right, stand by. All right, everybody, so we're back. So this is what I call infinite sovereign power. So if you come around the back here, you'll see that the only wires that you see around here are connected to the inverter, the battery charger, and the battery itself. There are no wires connected anywhere else. Let me unplug this fan, because this is what I want to use as a proof of uh, power source. And you'll see that there are no other wires. The goal here is to show you that there are nothing plugged into the wall anywhere. We have our battery. Our battery is going to be charged by our charger. The charger is plugged into the inverter that's getting the power from the battery to provide 2,000 watts of power that can actually power an entire house. So, this is what I call infinite power. We have our Nico Genius 5 battery charger charging our car battery. The Nico 5 gets connected with these two alligator clips, positive, negative. We get the actual contacts going to the inverter, positive, negative. We have that over here. We have our digital readout as to the number of watts. We're currently reading 12.3 volts. So we have a 12, we've indicated 12 volts on the Nico as well. Now we're gonna plug in an actual device and see if this particular device will be powered by this source, this infinite sovereign power source. I'm gonna plug it into the 110. This 2000 watt ampere power inverter is very good. It has three built-in fuses for each of the actual 110 power outlets. It has a USB port and it also has a RJ11 port so that you can plug in a remote switch which is on a wire just in, in case you want to put a switch on the wall. So now we've plugged in our device and we're going to turn the device on. The device comes on. We're going to increase And we notice we get our readings on our Ampeak power inverter, letting us know that we're using a particular wattage. And at the same time, we also see that we're maintaining our voltage at 12.1 and we're down a little bit. But the beautiful thing about this is that because the battery charger is plugged into the inverter, it's actually charging the battery so the battery will never go dead. 
The battery itself will provide uh, a power directly to the inverter and the inverter can be used to charge whatever devices you want or if you just want to simply go off the grid or if there's a power outage, you can put together this simple power supply, this infinite sovereign power supply, just in case things go wrong. If we should head into an apocalypse, this is the perfect type of battery power source to use that you can power an entire house. Now you can build an array meaning you can put multiple batteries in an array into multiple inverters so that you can have multiple infinite power sources. Just make sure you get multiple chargers so that you can continue to infinitely charge the battery. Okay, everybody. So again, I just wanted to show you a video where you can actually see for yourself how you can develop an infinite power source, sovereign power source for yourself in case of emergencies like what's going on in most of the country right now. Hopefully this will help a lot of people out and get you from point A to point B until your power sources get put back on. I wish you well. Be well. Be blessed. You guys are all in our prayers. Take care.